Welcome to this technical corner. Today we're going to be discussing the fresh map voices from Brown and Holmes, and I have the pleasure to be joined remotely by Kevin Ward from Brown and Holmes, Managing Director. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you, Gio. You okay? I'm very well, thank you, Kevin. Thanks very much for joining us in this technical corner. Now, Fresmac um, Voices and Product Range, it's something that's been in your portfolio for some time now. Can you give us, to start with, giving us a brief overview of the product range and why you have got this product range in your portfolio? Uh, Fresmac, Arnold, yes. Voices made out of uh, Bilbao in, uh, in Spain. Uh, very accurate voices, very good range of voices uh, and voice solutions. It's almost unfair to call them voices because lots of my generation thinks of a voice with a lead screw and a possible bronze nut and smacking the handle down to, uh, to clamp the component. But these these uh, voices from Fresnac are a little bit more to them than that. They're basically uh, very clever design. They really consist, the clever bit really is a very small hydraulic intensifier within the, within the, uh, within the devices, which allows you to transfer up to five tonne of clamping pressure through just turning um, a ratchet handle uh, on the devices rather than the old fashioned smashing with a, with a high hammer or whatever. But yeah, very nice range of devices. Various different solutions called one component, two components. They offer numerous um, uh, configurations of jaws and also um, supply jaws which people can uh, machine to suit their own requirements. And also the fact that they 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 are hydraulic and pneumatic solutions. They they can be lined up in series and actuated remotely uh, in, in tandem to one another, which is uh, a, number, a number of solutions we've provided ourselves over the years. But yeah, we, 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 we very much like the product and uh, yeah, we struggle we struggle with that handle of vice because they're a bit more than the standard vice to be honest. To be fair. Well, uh, I, I will refer to them as a work holding solution, Kev. Now, the, uh, the, the, the first question really, you mentioned up to five tonne clamping force hydraulically. Can this be adjusted dependent on the application? So, for example, if you were uh, looking to clamp thin walled parts, can you reduce this clamping force quite yeah. simply? Yeah, the, the torque ratchet on, on, on the angle that I mentioned, five tons perhaps the maximum for your standard larger devices, I say up to 10 inch um, work holding uh, lengths. Um, but yeah, the, the ratchet can be can be set and, and uh, you can get minimal clamping forces from, from that ratchet to suit the, to suit the application. Very, wow. easy, very easy adjustable, and, uh, I'd say very, very repeatable. Now, repeatability is my next question, Kev. Have you got any indications on what they repeat to and the kind of deflection that you would get from the fixed jaw? I uh, get very little. I'm talking microns as regards deflection. The beauty of the design, the rigidity of these vices, I say they're a single cast iron uh, base really, but the, the the accuracy that they're ground to and what the, the fixed base is perfectly perpendicular. But the clever bit is the accuracy within the sliding jaws. Basically, you, you don't get this tipping motion when you're clamping apart and whatever. You, wherever you're clamping apart within the stroke of the vice, it, um, it, it keeps that floating jaw upright and perfectly perpendicular, which is absolutely crucial with some of the components that you see being manufactured these days. So it effectively, you're holding your components very securely, which eliminates vibration? Well, absolutely, absolutely. Some of the, uh, the cutting mythology out there in the market these days, you've got to be holding your components solidly and the vibration is a, is a big killer for inserts and for surface finish on many of the components that uh, we see. So, yeah, they hold them very, very rigidly. Now, when working a free axis machine with vices, setup times are a big issue. It's something that keeps that spindle not turning. Now, firstly, when you're using them in manual mode, um, with the sliding jaw, are they quite fast to set? Yes, they are. Yeah, as I said, basically, with, with the turn of that knob, basically, that, uh, yeah, it 
very, very, very quick to turn over parts. But the, the, the main thing is, is, is the repeatability. Once you've set that torque on the clamping pressure, it repeats every time. Yeah, so you, you're taking away any human error effectively, Ken. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So, Kev, you mentioned devices being banked together um, and being actuated simultaneously. So I assume that it also lends itself, they lend themselves to automated applications. Yeah, bang on. Yeah, yeah, it's a couple of solutions we provided, particularly long components, although pretty uniform in, 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 their, in, their, in their size as regards parallel bars, if you like, which can be robot loaded and uh, basically placed in the voices and then all clamped up together. Well, there, does, there certainly seem to be a lot of technical uh, advantages using the Thresmac voices, for sure. Uh, repeatability, setup times, clamping force, automated solutions. But they're also a very flexible voice, I believe. They can also be mounted to tombstones for horizontal machines. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they lend themselves quite easily to that geo, and we've incorporated them into a number of our, our own work holding solutions as well. But yes, yeah, certainly mounting them on a tombstone um, or a cube uh, gives good flexibility and vers versatility as well. And you can even have um, double voice setup so you can hold more than one component on each face utilizing these voices. So, yeah, there's various solutions, good flexibility, and a lot to offer. Kev, we haven't touched on the complete range. It's such a large portfolio of products. So how should people get in touch that may be interested in this work-holding solution? Um, all the contact details are on our website, www.brownhomes.co.uk. Uh, we have a web inquiry form, which uh, is very easy for people just to drop an inquiry or ask us any questions, and we get back to you certainly within 24 hours with an answer. So, yeah, if you just visit our website, it will show you the full range of what Banner can offer. Kevin, thank you very much for your time.